Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to continue uh, to texture the cyberpunk lamp. I'm going to work on this uh, metal material. I want to make a change to that and then I'm going to do the wire mesh and the bulb and also do some stuff in blender. So here we go. Here's what I want to do. I'm on metal 2. That's this region here and I'm actually going to delete that and search for Rust, I'm in Substance Paint, I'm going to use this uh, Rust coarse material and put that down. And then I'm going to search for steel. I want this steel painted material. I'm going to put it underneath there. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a black mask. And I'm going to change the color of this right now to a darker color more black like that come up here and we're going to try uh, a generator and for the generator I'm going to choose metal edges I think eh, no maybe I'm not going to try metal edges let's try something else let's try dirt Okay, that'll give me this and I think I like that better so I'm going to go with that okay so I'm going to come back to blender and bring back the wire mesh I'm going to select the mesh go to UV editing and this is what the UV has come out to be uh, just by default when I created it and I think I'm going to I'm going to try to go with that so that one is selected so I'm going to go ahead and export just that mesh so there's the wire mesh I'm going to call this mesh and I'm going to bake the maps I'll just do it at 1024 we'll try that So there it is. And let's try this uh, steel rough. Just to have something on there. And that's probably okay. So I'm going to save that and export it. Back in Blender, I'll go to the shading tab. I'll create the material. We'll just call it mesh. Click on the principal BSDF and shift control T and see if I can find that and we have that on there I hide this Okay, so far so good. Okay, now we want to work on the bulb. So I'm going to come back to here and switch this back to textured. And we're just going to focus on the bulb itself. So I'm going to UV editing and just focus on the bulb. If I come in here. Let's turn off the subdivision surface and let's see how just a simple unwrap does. I'm going to scale that down just a little bit. I'm going to try that. All right, so very simple. We're going to export that. Here's my bulb. So we're going to need to do a few things because we want to make this uh, with some opacity so it's transparent or somewhat transparent. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll bake the mesh maps. I'll do it at 1024. Alright, so there it is. I don't have the subdivision surface on, so it looks a little rough, but that's okay. So I need to come to the shader tab and switch this from PBR Metal Roughness to PBR Metal uh, Rough with Alpha Blending. So that's one thing I need to do. And the other thing I need to do is add in the channels an opacity channel. So we now have that. 
I'm going to switch this, I call this material, here. call this bulb. And in smart materials, we we'll search for glass. I'll try this glass visor. And let's come in here to the base. And now I have an opacity slider. I'll bring that down. Can't really tell that it's uh, transparent that well, but it is. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm going to add a fill and a black mask. And on here, let's try a smart mask and just see what, what works well with this. Actually, that looks okay right there. So we'll throw some of that on. Let's We can do another one. And let's try... Um, that didn't do much. Maybe we'll make this dark. Just something, something else in there. Okay, let's say that's what we wanted. All right, what we need to do is export these textures. So I'm gonna choose my directory here. But I can't use this output template, just PBR Metal Roughness. I need opacity. And I've got one here. PBR Metallic Roughness Opacity. And I'm going to choose that. And if I look at that, uh, you can see. Uh, where is it? Let me make sure I got that one. There, this one here. Um, I've got an opacity uh, map on here. Uh, and I've done that in another video so I can export the opacity map uh, so I'll link you to a video where I created that so that you can export the opacity map so I'll hit export and then you'll see opacity down here so I've got all the bulb the glass part and then opacity okay let's hop back into blender and shading tab and create the material for the bulb we'll call it bulb and shift control t and choose base to roughness on the bulb so we're starting to see what we had but we need to do some more work so i'm going to click on the material output and just move it along press g to move it along and we'll add something in here shift a shader a mixed shader there shift a shader transparent we're going to connect that not there there and we're going to connect that opacity map so texture image texture and we're going to open up opacity so scroll down find opacity and i'm going to connect the color to the fac sorry there we go. Now, we still don't see much yet. So now we'll come over to the Materials tab. We'll scroll down to here to the settings. I'm going to choose for the Blend Mode, Alpha Blend. For shadow Mode, I think I'm going to try Alpha Hash. We'll see. Let's turn on Back Face Calling and Screen Space uh, Reflections. And now I have some opacity there and I can see through it. And I think I'll come to the bulb, I'll turn back on the subdivision surface, and I think I'll add solidify. Maybe I'll drag it above there. We'll try that. Now, let's hide that for the moment. Okay. So I'm sort of cheating, we'll see. Let's add uh, an emission material on this, just for the moment. Just in Blender, 
we'll switch that to emission we'll make this like a, a yellowish color for now and put the strength at like something high like 50 but let's come to the settings here and add ambient occlusion bloom and screen space reflections ambient occlusion I'm going to knock up to like two okay in, in EV let's go back to layout and uh, what do we need to do bring everything else back so we'll see if that piece is okay um, we don't get too much craziness yet I think I'll have to do that in um, in compositing for the filament all right but this is this is how how it's looking at this point so what I would need to do now is set up a camera uh, and adjust my lighting and then do compositing on that filament to get it to show more all right and I think I'll probably do that in the next video um, I'll just have to decide if I want to keep uh, this metal um, what I did notice of course is because I mirrored this I've got the same sort of effects on both sides but I don't think I'm gonna worry about that too much that's basically going to be it uh, with the exception of some compositing and some final touch-ups if I need to do that um, and of course I need to copy those around uh, and I'll just make sure I'm not missing anything okay so we'll finish it up in the next video